Welcome, I'm gonna go over the process for uploading a video and then syndicating that video out to YouTube and up to two dozen other video sharing sites. So the first step in the process here after I log in is to click upload a video in the upper left hand corner. That'll bring me to this page. Um, you have two choices of file uploaders. We have two separate ones. This first one has a 100 megabyte limit. If you want to upload bigger than that, you'll want to click this uploader over on the right here, which is a resumable uploader. The added benefit of that being that if you lose your internet connection, you know, three quarters of the way through the upload, we'll remember uh, where you were and just pick up from there so you don't have to re-upload the file. So some basic information about file types we accept uh, is listed right here. We take seven different file types. Um, you know, from AVI, WMV, MOV to M4V. We recommend uploading an MOV or MP4 file. Uh, and we, the codec we recommend, which is the most universal, is H.264. And each site has their own specific restrictions. Um, and the way this works is, if you meet this site's, each site's criteria, then we won't uh, alter your video file at all. We'll just pass it along to the video site and it'll be as if you uploaded it manually yourself. Now, if for whatever reason you use a video codec that, that one site doesn't support or you upload a file that's bigger than a given video site supports, then we'll go ahead and transcode that video file for you. And you know we have a pretty sophisticated system that minimizes any quality loss associated with that. But you may want to avoid it. You can just see each site's restrictions by clicking read this below the uploader here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the resumable uploader. And that will bring me to this page. If it's the first time you've seen it, uh, what it's going to ask you is to, you know, have a install a certificate in your browser. It's just the equivalent of a cookie. Um, you know, you can trust us. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and select a video file here. And as this video file starts to upload, I can go ahead and enter all my uh, all my description, title, etc. Pretty straightforward. Um, you know, maybe I want to put a URL in here, plugging my site. We recommend just kind of best practices. You put the entire HTTP on just because most sites will hyperlink it if you do that. I put in my description. Private notes field. This is a great way to integrate with your content management system if you're a big media company. Um, and if you are, you might want to contact sales because we have other tools like MRSS feeds that can help you, you know, upload thousands of videos at once um, automatically without even going through this process. So, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and skip that and then I'm going to put in the tags, you know, I can put in some tags here I have before. So tags five and then you can show a preview of how these tags will look on the different sites. Each site has limits on how many tags you can put, um, you know, VIA will take up to five, Blip takes up to six, YouTube takes, I think, 13. So you can see if you hit a limit right here. And then lastly, we select a category. We give you a pretty simple taxonomy here. But, uh, you know, as you get into the each site, I'm going to click see how these categories map. They map differently to slightly different categories on some of these video sites. And some of the video sites are very specific, you know, to certain types of content. You want to upload relevant content to them. So like Howcast, for instance, is all how-to videos. And then they give you, a, you know, what type of how-to video do you have? Is it sports, pets, whatever? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and once, once I'm done there, make sure I'm all finished there, I am. And uh, I'm going to click done. That'll bring me to the next page, which we call the launch page. And uh, on this page, you enter all of your usernames and passwords for each site you want your video to go live on. If the first time you've seen this, um, you know, you'll, you'll see a full list of sites. Um, and you can always click more sites to see what the additional sites are. And you can click on an individual site name if you've never heard of it. It'll bring up this little description, you know, on traffic averages and stuff. Um, so you, you do have to have accounts on every site you want to, uh, to want, you want to deploy your video to. And you can change your thumbnail later. You can find out if your video is transcoded here. There's all sorts of stuff you can do here. But the main thrust is you want to check off where you want your video to go, put in your usernames and passwords. And then uh, you want to save these, this set of user credentials, set, save this set of usernames and passwords for later so you don't ever have to re-enter them again because that's annoying. So we, we save them for you. And uh, then you just click launch and you are live on, uh, on YouTube and as many other sites as you want in, in seconds. So thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other tutorial videos and thanks.